All right, welcome fifth grade. This is um, a shorter video that does not involve your actual project. I'm just going to show you what you would do if you had um, a red scissors, but it could be applied to any color that you have and how I um, add a light version and I go to a dark version um, kind of quickly here. So I have a bunch of different reds um, and I sampled them down here. Um, I'll sample them again. Obviously you wouldn't want to do that on your project, so it needs to be on a separate sheet of paper, but this is just as a demonstration. You'll notice I have my scissors exactly like they are in the picture right next to it, so we can see kind of how things are. Now you can tell by my shadow right here, the main light source is coming from over in this corner over here because it's pushing a shadow on the scissors and everything else. So what I want everyone to see is that we have these natural highlights, right? These white areas on our scissors, okay? They're all the way up here. And so you have to look for those areas um, first. And then you take your lighter colors, okay? And what I do first is I look for that lightest color and I'll add it to everything on that object. Okay. So yes, it's white-ish, but it's actually a very light red. Okay, we can't get rid of that color completely. So I'll go with a light red and I literally do it everywhere. Now you'll also notice that I'm drawing in the same direction as the longest part. And when I get into the darker colors later on, I'll actually curve when it needs to be curved and that'll help kind of bring the, the look of the scissors. So always try to go in the direction of the longest um, piece if it's a smooth. Now, if there's texture on it, I wanna go in that direction also, but So your lightest color you put on everything. Your darkest color, you're only gonna put where that darkest color is. Okay, so that is these whitish spots from the highlights of the light source, okay? Now, because the lightest parts are going to be on the edge because that's where the light hits first, the darkest spots are going to be on the opposite. So they're going to be on this far edge of the scissors. Okay, and we're going to work towards that. So some of you have one color and you're able to use it everywhere. Um, that works. Some of you are working off of two colors. Um, and so what I'm doing right now um, is I'm kind of highlighting those light areas. So I'm looking at my scissors and I'm adding kind of an outline of where those light areas are. Because I'm never going to color on top of those again. And then I'm adding my second lightest color to everything but those white spots. So this one's a little bit harder because you're adding it to a large space, but you're not adding it wherever that lightest highlight was. The hard part about this project is you aren't doing the entire scissors. You're really only doing it to areas that are inside of that circle. So it's easy to do one big scissors. It's harder when you gotta look at all this detail, plus you gotta make sure that you don't go outside of that circle.
So if I didn't have uh, all these um, other kinds of reds, I would start with my third color and I'd just push harder or do another layer of colors for those of you that have that. Um, so now I'm looking at what areas are really a lot darker than some of these spots around these white spots. So some of my darker areas are here, are right here in this car curve over here. Um, so now I'm gonna start to kind of push a little bit harder to bring those out. So as I said on the previous class, every scissors, no matter how big of a spot you're doing, should have a light, a medium, and a dark area. And as you go, you just keep getting darker and darker. While leaving some of those lighter spots light. So I'm hoping that this helps a little bit. Um, I would spend another 20 minutes on the scissors getting darker and darker because we can see we have a long ways until we get to the darkness that we need here. So I would just keep building color, keep building color. Um, and I would do all the same things on the metal. Okay having it right here, looking at it, seeing how light the top is compared to this edge, compared to this bottom part. So pushing harder, obviously, for that bottom part. And then going a lot lighter on the top. Right. Um, so that is uh, about half of what I want to show you, but I don't want to take up the whole time. So hopefully this helps you kind of see what you're looking for and what highlights you leave and how you work from light to dark, not dark to light. Good luck.